Hi, this is Queen of Cups, and I'm here to do your Aries April read. This does not resonate for every Aries out there. Anything you need to be down in the description box below. And I would like to take the time to thank you for your like, share, comments, and subscribe. Ooh, Aries. Somebody don't want me to say so. I don't know what it is. Um, happy birthday. I was going to say it, Aries. I just didn't want to do it in a quickie because I wanted to acknowledge y'all and y'all monthly. Okay, so this will be your overall monthly Aries. Let's see what you got going on coming up in the month. Your birthday month, six of wands popped out. Okay, so you have something to celebrate. You're celebrating something. You're moving towards something. Um, I feel it's someone maybe. Um, maybe getting closer with someone. Your significant other at this time. Um, in the month of April, celebrating your birthday. You might be having a party. You might um, be getting a lot of um, attention online as well. Aries, it's something that you're definitely celebrating in the month of April. And like I said, it is your birthday month. So it might be your birthday. Um, let's see what it is that you're moving to. Ooh, this one wanted to pop out too. Yep, so just some type of relationship, through your pentacles, some type of relationship, some type of commitment. Um, some of you are uh, might be taking your commitment to the next level with someone, but you're definitely getting closer with someone in the month of April, okay? Some type of uh, friendship, relationship. Um, you also, too, can be celebrating on something that you're working on, that you have worked on, too, have put a lot of work towards um, building um, something as well, Aries. I feel like for some of you, um, this has kept you up plenty of nights. Um, you have thought about this. Um, some of this have maybe gave you anxiety, um, maybe uh, made you nervous about taking this next step or planning a wedding or planning a party, having the right things, the right ideas, things like that, Aries. Um, or just waiting in anticipation, okay, with this um, movement. Definitely um, a marriage proposal, or like I said, planning a wedding, um, moving in with someone, going back to move in with someone, um, things like that. I feel like somebody or this commitment is on your mind very heavy in the month of April, okay? You definitely want to commit with someone, um, um, be a family with someone. Like I said, even move to the next step with this person. If it's, this, if it's um, about this project or business that you're on, you definitely want to have this complete. You want to, um, for some of you guys, maybe partner up with someone. You have the King of Wands. This is definitely you. You say you have commitment. Oh, Aries got commitment on the mind. Oh, Aries. So you definitely have commitment on the mind. You definitely have stability. Um, you definitely want to be settled during this time. I feel like you definitely want to... Um, bring this they bring it all together so this is what you want to do in the month of april i feel like you have um been teetering out of decision about a relationship a uh, uh, commitment and you're definitely going to make that decision in the month of april you have decided what you want to do you want to stick with this commitment with this person you want to um like i said if it's planning a wedding or something like that you definitely um know that you want to, um, what you want to um, have as far as this whole wedding, okay? Somebody definitely sees the truth and see clarity in this situation, okay? You might be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. Well, I did say um, Leo Aries Sagittarius. I think I did. But you might be dealing with another Leo Aries Sagittarius as well. But I feel this is more of you. I feel like you're a temperature yourself when it came to this decision. You maybe was hot and cold about it. Um, really not sure about it. I feel like you actually get your spirit guides for most of you to make a decision on this. Um, on this next step you want to take with this person. I feel like this person you have passion for. You're passionate about. You want. You love. Excuse me. Love this person. You want to move forward. 
Yep, Six of Pentacles. You want to give a give and take when it comes to this person. Like I said, if you wasn't giving one before, you definitely want to do one now with this person. I feel like you're trying... For some of you, you're waiting for the right time. I keep hearing the right time. So, um... You definitely want to do it when you think it's the right time or when spirit lets you know when it's time to move okay on this. So you definitely going to um have your things they say have your ducks in in a um in order, okay, when it comes to knowing um when to approach this person, how to approach this person. And also have have the um uh, why you want to approach this person because you want a proper give and take. You want to move forward towards this person, okay? You also might have an air sign, Leo dig dig them air signs. Leo air signs. I mean, um uh Aquarius, Gemini, Libra looking, um, they want to have a proper give and take with you as well, okay? Or this is you. I feel like um this is what you not you don't want anything less of this, okay? A proper give and take when it comes to this situation with this person, okay? For some of you, you might be a little moody because you know you have to make this decision, okay? You um might have somebody else, like I said, the um Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that's trying to make it hard. So, um, when, and they might know you want to go give this proper give and take with somebody else, and they might try to make it hard um, with you. And I feel like you just don't have any emotions when it comes towards this person, okay? Or vice versa. But I feel this is you towards that person. Um, this person, I feel, is definitely get. Yeah, this is definitely this person that um, didn't express these type of emotions before, didn't let you know. They might have Leo, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. This, or this is how they act moody, um, or didn't really express much, didn't communicate much. And I feel like this, they want to change that whole dynamic in the month of April. They want to express more. They want to let you know. They want to have a proper give and take. Some of them don't have the strength to, and they're getting the strength to come towards you. I think that was the problem, the communication problem with this, um, person. They didn't know how to express it when it came to you guys. And um, the next step they wanted to take with you. But they're about to express it in the month of April. Um, or well, this is you to them. How you feel. Because um, now I'm getting cross energies. Um, um, about how you feel. Um, how they feel. Or how you feel. You know towards them. Okay. Somebody is about to express something. Okay. And it's just switched on me like that. Okay. I feel like, yeah, somebody just don't know what to say, how to say, when to say it. They feel like they uh, uh, fall when it comes to trying to uh, see what the next step is. Um, they don't know how to move, uh, like I said, what to say, when to say it. Um, they know what to say. They're getting up the strength to do it. For some of them, um, they, felt, they felt, you felt like they kept you in the... Um, in the in the mix of everything, um, kept it. Um, what am I trying to say? Um, kept you in a fog, kept you conf in confusion. Shit, there you go. Damn, what is going on? Kept you um confused with the whole situation, and I feel like that they didn't mean to do that. Um, and if they did, it was because they had, was trying to do maybe for somebody, it might be a third party that was trying to do a give and take or maybe balance things out between you and this other person. It might be dealing with someone that have children, um, the father, the children, mother, the children, they try to balance it out between you two. But I feel like it, um, they're going to get that balance and they want to come to you or this is you, them. And, um, like I said, yeah, they're trying to manifest this, Sagittarius. They're trying to manifest um, coming towards you. Um, and like I said, expressing these type of emotions to you and wanting to move to the next level. Definitely somebody from your past. Definitely um, maybe somebody that you have um, been through many cycles with um, over and over uh, when it comes to this person, I feel like um, this person feel like they have had a missed opportunity with you or you them. And I feel like you're coming back around. They're coming back around so they can um, try to right their wrong. I feel like they want to apologize as well and um, let you know that they want to make it right. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the one. They definitely want to have a new passionate start in the beginning with you, Aries. They feel that um, they say, I want to do over, Aries. They're like, I, I want to do over. Strong Leo, too. I feel like, yeah. And they want to come in with full, I mean, when they come in this time, they really want to express how they feel. They can't take it anymore. I feel like you guys were at a distance. You didn't talk. Um, you haven't been talking, so expect a message in the month of April with all of these type of emotions coming if they don't, if you don't see them in person, okay? Three, six, and five might be significant numbers to you in the month of um, April. Got a matching pair here, queen and king of swords. I feel like they feel um, you, they might be rejected when it comes to you in this new start. Um, or you might not feel the same way, Aries. Or um, you feel they might not feel the same uh, way about them as well. I feel they, they feel that you're the type of person that uh, that don't play any games. You don't want to play any games. You really you say what you mean, mean what you say. That's just it, Aries. Or this is them vice versa. You know they don't play. You know they you know they mean what they say. They say what they mean. Yeah, ten of cups. They want happiness with you. They see you as five of swords at the bottom deck. About at the bottom of the deck, there's victory. They see victory with you. They see success. They see happiness with you. And this is what they want. And this is what they come here after. Um, in the month of April, they want their Aries or well, Aries. You want somebody, okay? In the month of April, not looking that, that's looking good, Aries. You have a lot of things that you have to do and have your hands in too. And I feel like you're gonna be doing a lot of manifesting when it comes to certain things in the month of April as well. Manifesting the money, uh, maybe a new job for some of you guys. Okay. This one will pass. Um, mm, I said pass. Pop out. But it did say past life. Here you go. Is this situation involves your past life memories. That five of um, coins, like I said, it could be somebody you deal with from a um from your past or um this is a past life connection. I feel like you two feel it spiritually, but it's just some things um, you have to work out on a 3D when it comes to you guys' relationship, friendship, or what have you, okay? Quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. So when this decision comes to you, you definitely will want to be rested up in a clear mind. Want to know that you're making the right decision. Ask for help and guidance if you feel like you're not making the right decision. But you will know areas when you're making the right decision or this person, okay? You definitely are going to be needing rest in the month of April. I feel like you're going to be doing a lot. Like I said, you might have a lot of parties going on, celebrations, planning. So you're going to need that quiet time alone, okay? Um, you might have fire sign children as well, or air sign children that, um, might be coming towards you to ask for money as well. They might need some money, um, when it comes to some type of stability that they, um, they're needing help with. It might be a water sound child as well, or they have these in their chart as, as well. Leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's desire, your heart's true desires into action. Sorry. Ooh, excuse me. There you go. I was trying to burp. Ooh, I gotta get my life together. Okay. Um. You definitely, like I said, when it comes to this, this person is taking a leap. They're just gonna take a risk and be like. Forget it. I'm going to text or I'm going to call or I'm going to go over or this is you towards this person. You're definitely going to be like, what's the chance this person say yes or no? It is what it is. I'm going to lay it out on the line. And this is where this person is at in their point of life or you at your point of life. It's either this person can say no, yes or no. I mean, it is what it is. You're going to take it or leave it.
high priestess. I feel like this person know who you are. They've discovered it. Like I said, they know exactly what they want, who they want. They know it's you, Aries, or this is you to them. And you, they're going to perceive to move forward. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. This person look up to you. This person admire you. They feel that you're a very spiritual person and that you can help them with a lot when it comes to certain situations in their life. Also, too, you might give this person life, energy, um, confidence to do the things that they feel that they can't do on their own, okay? So you definitely inspire somebody in the month of April that I think you didn't even know you inspired. But you're going to find out that you're a great inspiration to this person, whoever this person may be, or this is them to you, Aries. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, Aries. Let's see. Also, too, when it comes to um, this business matter or this project that you have, you're going to just be like, forget it. I feel like you know it's going to work out. You just got some things you have to... Um, new ideas you have to put in so it can um but you're going to definitely figure out the key in the month of april to how to move forward and progress in this um business okay yep i feel like um you have a soul contract when it comes to you and this person that you have to feel that is not over yet um it's like nice try um also too it might be some toxicity over this past life so somebody might be remembering the good parts of this past life and somebody might be remembering the toxic part and it's just not mixing well okay they say like water water and oil it's not mixing well okay um but you definitely have a soul contract that you're binding to with this person some of you also um it might be a capricorn as well some of you also um might be putting past the toxicity of um, some um, things you're addicted to. It might be some type of drugs, drinking, or what have you, okay? You're trying to put behind you. Okay, Aries. Okay. Yep, definitely moving forward when it comes to this. I feel like that's the Six of Wands again. Um, see, like I said, six might be very significant for you in the month of April. I feel like you're definitely moving on. Um, for some of you, um, if you did have a past life memory with a past life connection with somebody and this maybe was an ex, I feel like you're, um, uh, for some of you, I'm picking up two on this part, um, uh, that you're going to cut this old contract or you're going to end it and you're going to move forward to what makes you happy. Okay. For the, so this is the ones that's already in this relationship, what have you. I, I always pick up on certain shit late. I'm now I'm picking up on that all late. So some of you guys that felt confused or was confused, I feel like if this person does come back around, you're gonna cut this because it's a past life connection and you want it to be over with. I feel like it was some maybe some deception, third party, um, some confusion to the point that um you didn't know what you wanted and now in the month of April you do, okay? You have clarity. And truth within yourself to know that you want something else. You're going after your ten of cups, okay? And taking that leap of faith to go towards whatever it is that you want. Yep, you're going to go towards the relationship, the situation, what have you, okay? For some of you guys, this is this person coming back to come towards you. They're not finished this old contract with you, this past life contract, and they're coming back, okay? Some of you guys are going to actually go back. Um, I feel like... For the ones that's not in that toxicity, you're going to realize you have a soul contract with this person and it's not over yet. You have to fulfill it. I feel like it's somebody in the middle, though. I don't know why the hell I just get that feeling. It's somebody else there. But I feel like this person is irrelevant. I feel like they are the devil. They want to be um, right there, kind of fucking it up um, <laughs> for you, Aries. Um, like, a, like this could be a baby mom, baby father, you know, that just there, like, mm, I'm a, Mm -hmm. you know that just wants to be in the mix okay they're not happy so they don't want this person to be happy or this is you vice versa okay so yep judgment high priestess um with the judgment on top you definitely want to make a judgment you already know how this is you already know if it is a third party whose third party is why they make it difficult blase blase okay vice versa um, but you have to get the situation under control. You will get it under control in the month of April. I feel like you're going to do exactly what you feel you need to do when it comes to this person. 
some of you just, like I said, you might go into, um, to ask to bury the situation. Some of you, that most of you are definitely going to um, move forward with this situation. Like I said, you already know. Oh, Aries. You're in love. Somebody in love with you. Oh, Aries. I like it a lot. Y'all send me a wedding invitation. Don't act like I don't don't act like that. Don't act like that, Aries. Just just pick Queen of Cups. Pick, address it to my email. I'll be there. I might. I don't know. Just send it to me anyways. You know, I like to go out once in a while and dress up and look pretty, you know. Oh. I like it. I think it's gonna be real nice. Real nice, Aries. When I be hyped like this, this is how y'all can tell I need to take a nap. I'm going I'm to take one. I be believing in naps. I'm going to take one, Aries. I'm going to take one. Because I feel I need one. Okay. Let's see. Listen. Ooh, somebody wants you to listen. Oh, I'm feeling all jazzy and smooth. Okay, listen. Are you talking more than listening? Do you finish people's sentence? For them, sh true connection is about how we make people feel and whether or not we're being open and present. Life is communicating with you, dear one. An important message is trying to get through. Let go of your fear of not being heard. You'll get your chance for now. Just listen. So, I feel like this person is asking spirit to let you know. Just listen to what they have to say. I feel like it's honest communication when it comes to you and this person. Even if you don't take this person back. For some of you, I definitely think y'all are going to move to the next stage. It's love, love, love between you two. I just feel like it's toxicity or somebody's trying to wish that on you guys or be all up in your shit and throw you off. I feel like you and this person really love each other. I feel like you have many lifetimes together. And this time, I feel like you want to bring it together, okay? So just listen. Ooh. These two fell out. <clears throat> I'm taking them because I like it. Notice the blessings. <laughs> Gratitude puts us in the position of having instead of wanting. Thinking rather than complaining. When we focus on what we already have and take stock of our blessings, we get more blessings. What are you grateful for? Share it with yourself and others. Ooh. Pause. Got a lot of butterflies. You seen a lot of butterflies, Aries? A lot of butterflies. If you're feeling unsure about a decision, there's probably a good reason. Take your time and think it through. There's no need to rush. Allow your heart's wisdom to guide you. If you feel pressure to act immediately, it's probably a sign that it isn't the right opportunity. Don't worry because more opportunities will come along and the right one will fit like a gorgeous glove. And this is what I'm saying. I feel like you're going to have, you're going to tap into yourself to make that judgment, that high priestess moment. You already know the answer. You see, you most of you already see how it's gonna go down, why it's going down, what that blah blah say. So you are going to already be tapping to that when this person come, okay? Of which way you should go. But I'm telling you, most of y'all send me send me an invite. Don't act like that. Don't act like that, okay? Even if it, you don't act like that. Cause I like y'all, okay? I told y'all that Aries is my, my, just like y'all, choose love. If you're struggling with the ob obstacle or conflict, choose the path of love. Suffering, doubt, and frustration all transform into the presence of love. So show your love courageously. Show your love openly. Show your love with no strings attached. It's safe to give and receive love. In fact, if you're having a hard time with self-love, start outside yourself and work your way in. Showing love to others can be a gateway for loving yourself. See? Like I said, some of y'all just going to be like, come on, boo. Come on, bang. We can get it on and pop it. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to take this person back and y'all still going to be in love and that's it. Ooh, I like it. It ain't really much else I can tell you because y'all just going to be in love. Ooh, Aries. Okay, I hope you enjoy your birthday month. Turn up, Aries. Don't forget to send me that invitation. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.